Hey everyone! Maybe you're familiar with a language learning app called Duolingo. For those of you who aren't, it is a free language learning app that offers a bunch of different languages, especially for native English speakers, such as Ukrainian, Norwegian, Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, um, I think Hebrew now. And they're working on different courses like Japanese and Korean. There's a wide variety, and of course I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but there definitely is a decent amount that you can choose from, which is really, really cool. So the thing about Duolingo is it's kind of set up like a game where you go through a tree, and that tree is basically a combination of all of the lessons. It's made up of all of the lessons for that language. It's a language tree. So I've completed two so far, which one of them was French and the other was Portuguese. And I can't really say how much you can learn from just doing Duolingo because I did those trees as I was taking classes at school. So I used it as a supplement to my learning. However, based on my experiences, I would not recommend using Duolingo on its own. There are some pretty sporadic sentences at times like ducks don't write which I don't know when I'm ever going to have to use that sentence, but yeah, so I have a couple of tips for you guys based on my experiences with this app because I know some people go, oh yeah, I'm learning this language on Duolingo and you know, they might not know how to maximize their time learning if they're just blowing through the lessons and everything. So the first tip I have for you guys is to ladder your languages. I've done a video on this before, I'll just link it in the description if you don't know what laddering is, but basically, if you already know a second language, see if the course in the language you want to learn is available for speakers of your second language. For instance, I speak Spanish, so when I want to learn a new language, I'll usually look for courses for Spanish speakers. but in the language I want to learn. So when I was learning Portuguese, the class I took at my school was for Spanish speakers because Portuguese and Spanish are similar and the class was taught in Portuguese. In that case, I decided, well, why not do Duolingo the same way? So I found a Portuguese tree for Spanish speakers and that way I was practicing both languages at the same time and actually maximizing my time more than if I had just done English and Portuguese. But wouldn't you think, well, she's going to mix them up because they're similar and she's doing both at the same time. If you have a good enough level in one of the languages, I would say pretty conversational or at least advanced enough, then you shouldn't have an issue with doing the tree and laddering your languages. Another tip that I would have is doing the reverse course. So if you know the language pretty well, but you still want to practice and maintain it, I would say, so in the case of, let's say French, because French is the other tree that I did, do the English course for French speakers. So it's as if you are a French native speaker learning English. They don't tell you a whole lot about grammar in Duolingo from what I've seen. And so they kind of just throw you into it. But since you already know English, it's fine. You're just practicing your French, which will be a little bit harder because assuming that, well, the app assumes that you're at least a native speaker or very, very good at it, then they're going to give you sentences to translate from English into French. And there are very particular things about the French language that you can mess up pretty easily. So I would recommend that if you're an advanced speaker. The last tip I have is for vocabulary, because I think Duolingo, even though they can give you some pretty whacked out sentences, they do give you vocabulary in which you can string together your own sentences based on patterns you find in the sentences you're learning. So okay, maybe ducks don't write isn't a good enough sentence. So you learn the word for duck, well ducks, the plural form. So then you can say something like, the ducks swim, because you would know how to say ducks. And then if you learned a sentence with the word swim in it, you can just string together those sentences. So I would recommend writing down these vocabulary words in a notebook and seeing if you could put together your own sentences and having native speakers check them if possible. 
So that's all I got for tips on maximizing Duolingo. Like I said, it's a great supplement. I don't use it too often because I just try to maintain French and Portuguese in other ways, but I would recommend it as a supplement. It's great. I like it, even though it gives some crazy sentences, as I've said before. There's even a Twitter account dedicated to that, and I sit there and read those and I laugh, but I would suggest trying it out. Try out these tips and let me know what you think. Also, I do plan on doing something with Duolingo in the future, so stay tuned and see. Alright everyone, bye bye